Here we have a Minimax tuner that came in for what the customer wrote, a black screen. I already took out the motherboard and the screen. And anytime a customer tells me a black screen on a Minimax tuner, I want to check and see, is the problem the screen itself or is it the motherboard? Screens on those tuners, they fail. We get them all the time. I have countless numbers of videos where the screen either went white or black or whatever. Screens do fail on those tuners. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug a USB cable. And the only reason there's a USB connector on this motherboard is if you want to plug it to your computer. It's not used for a vehicle. And we can see the screen is good. I went outside to my vehicle. I plugged this in from the bottom and no signs of life. Nothing, not a backlight, not an image, not a tone, nothing. So what does that tell me? It tells me that the HDMI connector may not be receiving power. How do we check? Based on my experience working on those tuners, fixing likely thousands of them. I have a lot of videos on Minimax tuners. We get them in every day. There are no manuals to read, no schematics, no board view diagrams, and nobody to show you how to test. But over the years, every time I would discover something new, every time I would discover something new. Now, HDMI pin number 18 is power, five volts. Where is pin number 18? It's this one right there. That's power, five volts power. Before we do anything, I want to check on the pins. The inside of the HDMI connector looks good, so we do not see any physical damage. And if we check on the pins, we want to make sure everything is solid. That's number one. We can go over the board quickly. The board is not too big. Anything unusual? One time I created a video on the channel, you can look it up, Minimax Tuner, where there was a physical hole inside the board, a hole. And we fixed it if you watch the video. How did the hole get there? I have no idea. A lot of customers do not tell you what happened. They just tell you it's a simple fix. I know you can do it in two minutes. I can, but you can't. That's how experience pays. You do it in less time. You still charge the same money, but you do it in less time. How else would experience pay? If you do it in less time and you are charging less money, then how is experience paying? Time is money. When you spend less time and get paid the same because you did the job, then that's how experience pays. Money comes and goes, but time, the time that you lose, is never coming back. You have to understand this. Look at the quality on this amazing microscope, the Northridge Fix microscope. I mention it every day. You're not going to see anything clearer than this microscope. Right now, the board is tilted, so I'm focusing back and forth. Okay, so the board looks good. No signs of anything on the board. Let's go back to the HDMI connector, and we're going to check on pin number 18. That's the power line for the HDMI on this Minimax tuner. And we're going to measure in diode mode. What readings are we going to get? Are we going to get a short? Are we going to get an unusual reading? Or are we going to get oh well like we are getting now? Oh well. It means that trace is broken. It's not making a connection. It's not making a connection. Oh well. Let me grab a donor Minimax board. And we have a lot of those. And we're going to check this donor. 
what reading do we have on pin number 18? Look at this. We have a reading of 0 0.264 voltage drop. It means the line is making a connection somewhere, right? On the customer's board, we have a well. A well means you are measuring a line that goes nowhere. Goes to the ninth dimension. That's what a well means. And by the way, we have the ninth dimension shirt coming up. We actually have about 14 designs for shirts. Everything from ninth dimension to better than factory to what can you do to the Northbridge Fix logo. I'll post it in the community post and I'll go over it in a video. And I'm actually wearing one of the shirts here. Just a simple one. Many of you do not like big and bold, so I'm trying to create a low profile one and bigger ones. I have not decided on colors. I have about 20 colors that I'm trying, but it's going to be tough to offer the shirts in a lot of different colors, a lot of different sizes. Maybe we can start with black, maybe the blue one that I'm wearing, or maybe the green one you see me wearing in other videos. I don't know. What colors do you like? Maybe we can start with one color and then we can start adding more colors. Nice and gentle, just like a baby. That's how you need to handle this board. So it looks like we did not need to remove the HMI connector. The trace is coming from the front. I thought maybe we have its race from the back also. It's all right. It's a learning process for you and for me also. It only took a minute to remove the connector. We do not have any lines from the back, so we need to focus at this line here. Let me make sure that the connection, the trace, is making a connection with the pad. Yeah, so we have no issues from here to here. No issues, no break in the line. So the leg of the HMI connector, we want to look for the hole on top left. Top left, so that's the line right there. Now, I do not see a fuse here. What? I do not see that we have a fuse here. And it looks like so it looks like this that connects to pin number 18 is going to a fuse and we do not have a fuse. And the pads, they look factory. What's going on? The pads, they look factory to me. Let me look at the donors. I have a donor here and look at this. We do have a fuse here. So that's the line and that's the fuse. How come we do not have a fuse here? It's not me, right? Yeah. I worked on the board while the board is on that plate. Okay? So there's nothing on the plate. And the pads, they look factory to me. Look at this. It's very strange. The pads, they look factory. How come we do not have a fuse? If that fuse was ripped out, you would be able to tell by looking at the pads. Weird. Now today I came with my scooter. I do not have a vehicle to test this on. But that's the problem. Let me grab more tuner boards. Okay, so I have another one here. You see we have a fuse. I have another one here and we have a fuse. So a board without a fuse. I do not know what's going on. Did that tuner ever work with the customer? I have no idea. The good thing is we figured it out, right? How else would you have known that you had a missing fuse? Now, if we flip the board, focus. And we're going to measure pin number 18. And look at this. We now have a reading. 
before we got a well because the fuse was not present for whatever reason. Maybe the ghost borrowed it. But right now we have a reading and most likely the tuner will be recognized when plugged into the vehicle. I'll test tomorrow. But for now, let's put the HDMI connector back and we are good to go. The board also has a missing chip. Not only a missing fuse, but a missing chip. Right there. Right there. Look at the donor board that we have here. You see how we have two chips? The microcontrollers. We do not have the chip here. The board does turn on when plugged into a USB port, but it's missing a chip. Can we borrow a chip from a donor board? I don't know. What's that chip? It's likely a programmed chip. I do not know if this chip is married to the firmware chip and to this other microchip. Most likely, yes. It's a programmable chip. And <laughs> we are down the rabbit hole. The customer said nothing about a missing chip, nothing about, I mean, he's not going to know. Maybe he bought this from someone. We do not know how the customer acquired this Minimax tuner. He could not have used that tuner before. No way. All the customer said is black screen. That's it. Strange. I mean, this board is honestly strange. The pads, they look factory. So there was no chip here to begin with. Maybe this is some sort of a downgraded Minimax tuner, or maybe they improved it and they did, they put everything inside this microchip, not needing to. But those pads, they look factory. Let me grab some donors quick. This is the weirdest Minimax board I have seen. Look at this. So the pads on the customer's board are factory. And the fuse pads are factory also. My experience tells me, look, I have four donor Minimax boards here. Okay, exactly the same board. Look, I removed the HDMI connector from this one. This is the customer's board. They are the same boards. If you flip the boards, the customer's board does not have the chip and the donor has a chip. Okay, this is the donor here. You see how it has the two microchips? On the customer's board, we only see one. Let me grab another donor. Look. We also have two chips. Let me grab another donor. We have two chips. Let me grab another donor. We have two chips. So what's going on with this board? Why only one chip? So we're not going to desolder a chip from a donor and put it on the customer's board because it makes no sense. I'm just going to put the HDMI connector back and tomorrow I'll test and see if we get any signal on the screen when this Minimax tuner is plugged into a vehicle. Maybe I'll update the video with a comment. I can pin the comment and let you know if it worked. Let's put the HDMI connector back. We're going to use NF.flux white, the Northridge Fix flux. If you do not know what that is, you can watch the video I did on the NF.flux white and on the NF.flux, the non-white version. What's the difference? They both work the same. NF.flux white does not gum up. It cleans extremely easy. NF.flux cleans easy also, but this one is much more. And this one, it's very preferable to use when you have a very crowded area that you are working in. You do not want flux to gum up between components and also for BGA chips. Let's go ahead and resolder the connector. And we are done. I'm going to try the board tomorrow. Hopefully it works. If it does not, then we're going to have to figure out why the board is not working. Considering no fuse, 
and no microchip. I'll update you in a pinned comment tomorrow on this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.